Yeah, hi guys, Peter back for yet another video. This is um, a continuation of the Queen album reviews I'm doing. So I'm going back to the debut today. The first album from 1973. There you have it. Uh, yeah, quite like that cover. It's uh, quite nice, the colouring of it. And there you go. That's the first album from 1973. I've got some notes here more. We'll go over the notes and we'll talk about the album and um, and so on. And I'll give you my um, review and uh, score and so on. So Queen's debut, July 13th, 1973, it was released. A few months later, it was released in America. But the, the, the first release date is the, uh, the 13th of July, 1973. Recorded in London, clocks in about 38 minutes, 46 uh, through EMI Records, and it's again back to the beginning of the band. Heavy, heavy music, heavy guitars, but um, progressive. There's a progressive element in there, very much so, especially this album and Queen too. So yeah, the Queen, of course, uh, Queen came out of the out band Smile, and earlier on then and. And it morphed into Queen. Um, they had a few members in Smile. And that's how, and then the debut album happened. So here we go. I'm going to go through the um, the uh, songs. Keep Yourself Alive, it starts off. Now, this is a song I always thought was a pretty good opening track, a rock song. A great vocal from Freddie Mercury. Brian May song. Re I really like it. I reckon it's about, it wouldn't be, it's up there as one of my favourites, but I wouldn't call it my favourite song on the album, but I really like it. It's a good, solid rock rocker, I guess, and and sort of um, gives a bit of the indication what's to come with um, Queen going forward. Um, a good opening rocker, yeah. Now, Doing All Right, this is Brian May and Staffel, Tim Staffel, who was the singer with Smile, the previous band, and, and then he was gone, and then Freddie and the other guys got together and formed Queen. So that's that's a story with him getting the credit, the writing credit on this song. And the song is doing all right. Very mellow beginning. You can tell um, when Freddie starts singing that this voice is just uh, a very angelic sort of voice. Freddie, um, a great vocalist, um, amazing singer. And um, it's got a mellow side, and it got, it's got the light and the dark, the light, the shade, light and shade. So and it gets a bit heavy towards the end of the song. One of my favourites on the album. It's a very nicely done track. It's got a good melody to it. Melody to it. Uh, yeah, very. What's the word? I don't say heartfelt all the time. Emotive, I guess. Some motion driven track, and a really great track. One of the best songs on here, most definitely. Great King Rat is next. I, uh, Freddie Mercury song. Really like that one. It's more, yeah, a bit more proggy again with the hard rock. Freddie Mercury song. Really good song. Um, Great King Rat. Not my favourite again, but uh, you could see where they're taking this. They're so, sort of starting off as a prog, uh, proggy hard rock band, a heavy rock band in a way. Um and uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty good song, and he as again again a great vocal. Now the song I probably like better than that is the next song, "My Fairy King," which is a really good song, uh, much in the same vein. Uh, you know, they're showing their um, musicianship on this album, which is um, awesome, awesome. From day one, they were they're really playing well. Proggy again, proggy proggy elements in it. And I like I like it better than my uh, Great King Rat, but I still like uh, Great King Rat. But my Fairy King, that's a really good song. So that's the end of side one. Those four tracks. So if you take the album um, side two. Now Liar is the opening track on side two. Freddie Mercury song. Love it. Probably my favourite song on here. Um, dynamic bombastic is the word, sort of words that come to mind when you talk about this track. 
uh, it's everything's there. You got the the heavy guitars, you got the the bass, the drums, and you got Freddie on the vocals. A great song. And it's a bit lengthy too. It's like six six minutes or so. So, and I, I think it'd probably be my favourite song on this album. Yeah, but it's a really good song. Uh, Modern times rock and roll. Uh, Roger Taylor song sung by Roger. Just a a basic rock and roll track, which is, um, I think it's a good track without being overly great for me. Uh, Son and Daughters Next, another good track. This is a Brian May song this time. Uh, and Brian May, um, is get, the first two albums came through with a lot of material um, early on, early in the piece. So he, Son and Daughter, that's a good one. I like that one. Very nice song next is the Freddie Mercury song, Jesus. It's self-explanatory, of course. See the Lord Jesus, he says in it. Uh, very, very nice. I guess you could call it a nice, um, a very nice tune. Very, you know, it's not um, outrageous in any way. It's just, a, just a really good tune. And then... Mercury again gets the credit, uh, writing credit on the instrumental, the Seven Seas of Rye, which later on the second album was fully realised as a proper song. Here it's just like a one minute and bit instrumental. On the second album, they did it as a, as lyrics with with uh, as lyrics as a full song. And there you have it, guys. So as you could tell, pretty some pretty good moments on here. And a couple for me that probably don't make it, but um, I'll just show you the back of the album. Some nice images here. In fact, um, here we go, just a close up there. Not the images of the best. Sorry about the glare from the sleeve, but you get the idea. Um, it's got here. Um, uh, Freddie Mercury, vocals, piano, Brian May, guitars, piano, and vocals, Deacon John, so he was, um, no, they put him down, he's not John Deacon, Deacon John, they put him down, bass guitar, and Roger Meadows Taylor, so they put his middle name in, percussion, and percussion vocals, so their first album, yeah, sort of a big moment in the music, and uh, the, what they went on to do later was, um, you know, they progressed it even further along the way. So I'll give you my three favourite songs on this album in order. One, two and three. Ten track album, remember? Um, I'm going to go Liar, my favourite. Liar, I have to pick Liar. A really uh, a top song. Top hard rocking song. Um, doing All Right. I just love the the, the slow parts, the, the nice melancholy parts of it. Doing all right, and third, I was going to go My Fairy King, which could be a choice, but I'm going to go Keep Yourself Alive, the opening rocker, uh, which which I find quite a good song. So there you have it, quite a solid debut by the guys. People, Some people's favourite Queen album, I've, I've read a, f a few people say it is their favourite Queen album. There it is again, but for me, I'm going to give this... An 8 out of 10. I just think it's got a lot of good moments, but there's a couple of two or three songs that are just just okay for me. But uh, some really strong moments. It's like um, those three songs I mentioned. Also, My Fairy King and um, Jesus even. Yeah, Jesus is a good song. And there you have it, guys. So there's the review for that. I hope you enjoy this review. Uh, comment, uh, subscribe and all those things down below and I'll continue with the Queen albums. I did, uh, I'm going to do a Night at the Opera next. I only did that about six months ago, but I'm going to update it. I'm going to do a prop, try and do a better review if I can and um, and I'll go on from there, date the races. You get the idea, the, the studio, studio material. Might do the live album, I'll see about that. Um, but there you have it. Um, comment and subscribe and all those things. I'll see you guys for the next video. Won't be too far away. Bye for now. Bye.